Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see MOSFET small signal operation and modeling. In the other video, I have already explained the different methods of biasing when we are using MOSFET as amplifier. So the basic idea is that we need to keep the MOSFET in saturation region and so that we need to fix this VDS and VGS to get a constant ID. So as we know, ID is constant in saturation region and that ID is depending on VGS. So we need to keep VGS also constant. So somewhere here, we will be getting the operating point. So let us look into the small signal modeling by applying a small signal to the MOSFET and let us see the different parameters. Here you can see it is just an example of a common source amplifier circuit, which I have taken to explain the DC bias point. Here you can observe capital V capital GS. This corresponds to the DC voltage applied for biasing, which we have discussed in the other video. If we consider this as a DC voltage with respect to this, the DC current, if you look at that also represented with capital I capital D. So wherever we are going to represent with the capital letters, it represents DC values and small letters as a AC quantity. This is the DC bias current we are going to get and this expression representing the current by neglecting the channel length modulation. By considering the channel length modulation, we will be getting lambda parameter here extra. So these two are the voltages with respect to DC operating point is concerned. And also the DC voltage at drive to source will be VDS is equal to VDD minus ID RD. Here again this ID corresponds to this DC bias current and this VDS corresponds to the drive to source DC voltage. And here VDD is the source voltage what we are going to apply over here. And now the condition for saturation region is that this DC voltage what we are going to choose in between drive to source should be greater than VGS minus VT. Here also VGS is the DC voltage what we have applied here. And the other parameters here in the circuit are small v, small g, small s. This is the small signal we are applying to be amplified. Means this is the AC signal we are applying to be amplified by this amplifier. And one more voltage here, small v capital GS corresponds to the voltage between the gate and source terminal. We can say this is the instantaneous voltage combining this capital VGS that, that is DC voltage and the voltage to be amplified. The total voltage appeared between the gate and source is this VGS. And the small signal current in the drain terminal. If you look at the currents now, as we know the VGS we are getting in between gate and source will be equal to DC voltage we have applied and the small signal which is to be amplified. So with respect to this, if you write the current, this is the instantaneous current and this is the DC current and this is because of the small signal we have applied. And as we know, the saturation current is 1 by 2 into Kn dash into W by L VGS minus VT whole square. This is the expression for the current in saturation region. Here we know that this VGS is the total voltage between gate and source. If you are going to replace this VGS by these two, the expression becomes ID is equal to 1 by 2 Kn dash W by L VGS plus small VGS minus VT whole square. Now this expression representing the instantaneous current that is small i capital D that is flowing through the transistor. And we can rewrite this as just rearranging these terms. It is VGS minus VT plus small v gs. So here if you look at this expression we can treat this term as a and this term as b. Now we can apply a plus b whole square formula here. If we apply a plus b whole square and expand this we are going to get 1 by 2 kn dash w by l into this a term a square that is vgs minus vt square plus 2 into vgs minus vt that is a b this is 2 a b part plus vgs square that is b square now if we multiply this 1 by 2 kn dash into w by l 
to this these three terms it becomes id is equal to 1 by 2 kn dash w by l into vgs minus vt square this is the first term the second term becomes here 2 and this 2 get cancelled so kn dash w by l vgs minus vt into small vgs plus 1 by 2 kn dash w by l into vgs square now there are three terms here for the instantaneous current id so what are these three currents now the first term here is the dc bias current you can observe here we will be having capital vgs so this is dc bias current and the second term you can see this is dependent on small vgs also so this corresponds to the small signal we have applied that is current proportional to small vgs and also third term we will be having vgs but it is vgs square so this is also corresponds to the small signal we have applied so if you look at this expression closely the third term what we have causes nonlinear distortion there is vgs square here because of that we will be getting nonlinear distortion so we need to reduce the nonlinear distortion introduced by the mosfet how to reduce that we need to eliminate that third term now how to eliminate the third term means we need to keep the third term less than the second term why because here we can see this is the current or the term which is having vgs means this corresponds to the signal what we are applying as a inputs small signal but this extra term we are getting a non nonlinear distortion so how to avoid that means we need to keep this third term too much less than the second term so that nonlinear distortion will be less so in this expression if we cancel out kn dash kn dash w by l and w by l here it is vgs this vgs get cancelled with this so vgs is less than 2 into vgs minus vt i have taken this 2 to right side so now we need to keep this as our criteria or the condition we need to be maintained this vgs is the small signal we are applying that should be too much less than 2 times vgs minus vt this vgs is the dc component and what is vgs minus vt here this is vov here this vov is the overdrive voltage above which the transistor will be switched to saturation region and we can say this vgs should be too much less than two times the overdrive voltage of that mosfet and this will be the condition to be satisfied to get the amplification and if the small signal condition is satisfied we can neglect the last term so that id is equal to id plus small id now we will be getting only these two terms here this small id corresponds to the second term what we have the third term is eliminated now so the second term will be considered as the small signal current and the next parameter of the MOSFET amplifier circuit that is transconductance gm this is the important parameter so if we define gm gm will be equal to that small signal current id divided by the small voltage vgs now we will be having an current expression here id let us substitute for id divided by vgs so these two vgs get cancelled vgs and vgs get cancelled and the expression for the transconductance is kn dash w by l vgs minus vt now this is our gm and then what is vgs minus vt again this is the overdrive voltage we have seen so vgs minus vt is the overdrive voltage we can replace this vgs minus vt by vov so the final expression for transconductance is kn dash w by l into vov and if you look at the iv characteristics again this is id this is the instantaneous current small i capital d this is the actual current flowing through the transistor similarly this is the voltage in between gate and source if you plot these two above this threshold voltage current is started to increase as vgs increases current also increases but at the q point q point in the sense the dc vgs and the dc current which we have fixed is id this is the q point at the q point if we try a tangent like this the slope of this representing the transconductance so we can write the transconductance gm is equal to delta id divided by delta vgs 
and here you can see this vgs in x axis is considered that equal to this operating point vgs the dc voltage at this point we are writing what is the transconductance that's why we need to consider vgs as the dc voltage vgs this is the small signal we are applying as input with respect to that the small signal current is shown in y axis here that is small i small d this is about the transconductance and coming to the voltage gain how to calculate the voltage gain here as we know vd is equal to vdd minus rd into id vd is the voltage at drain terminal this is again instantaneous voltage and this can be written as vdd minus the voltage drop at the resistor that is rd into id under the small signal conditions what is this id id will be having two terms again first term and the second term that is dc uh, term and the small signal term and now this vd becomes vdd minus rd into id minus this rd into small id here we can write it as this vdd minus rd into id corresponds to a dc term dc quantity here all the terms you can see are capitals so we are going to represent this with the drain voltage vd minus rd into id is the last term as it is and here the small signal component of the drain voltage vd can be written as that is minus id into rd so it can be written as we know that this id is equal to gm into vgs we are just writing it in terms of a transconductance so if you write in terms of a transconductance we are getting vgs here now the voltage gain is that output voltage divided by input voltage here the output voltage is with respect to the small signal it is vd here the small signal input is vgs if we divide those two vd divided by vgs we are going to get the voltage gain that is dependent on transconductance and the resistor value what we have so this is about the voltage gain by considering the small signal so we have seen transconductance voltage gain and the dc operating point in the next video let us see the small signal model of the mosfet thank you